welcome to another Prevent Adventures video. Today we're up on the Quantox. It's Tuesday, the 13th of February, 2024, Tuesday morning, about 10 o'clock. It's windy, it's raining. Not very pleasant out there. Um, and what we're going to do is head up on the moors and set up two trail cams and then come back in a few days and see what we got. Normally we set them up in the woods, we've had varying amounts of success, hasn't been overly successful. So today we're trying something different. We're gonna set them up right out on the moorland and see what we get there. So I just gotta put some new batteries in them, set up the cards and then we're um, head out onto the moorland and set them up. We're gonna mark their position using these Garmin as an E-Trex and an E-Trex 10 just help us locate them on the way back in a few days time so we don't lose them and uh, that's the plan in this video so anyway I'm gonna set these get the batteries in there and then we're gonna head off out into a, a rather wind sat windy on top hills. Right, that's that one. New batteries in it. Set the time and everything ready in it and formatted the card, SD card. Now to set this one up. The first job is to take out these old batteries. Eight batteries. This takes eight AA batteries. I'm going to put fresh batteries in here, make sure it'll uh, last the course. We can hear that wind out there, it's blowing like a good one. Batteries going into here. Right, eight batteries in there. Let's make sure this is all working. card error straight away. What's wrong with the card then? Let's uh, format the card and hopefully that are uh, card has been formatted. Right, let's make sure the time is set correctly on here. And what's it now, about quarter past ten? So we just set this clock to the right time. Turn him off. Turn him back on. Make sure it doesn't show a card error again. Seems all right. So that's the cameras ready. So that says us having to do that. 
when we get out to position. That one's got new batteries in. Let's put some new batteries in the e -Trex. 10. He's got new batteries in. Right, we'll get the bags kitted up and we'll head out and set up these cameras. Okay, first camera is set up. So that's the camera there. Oh, let me just do a flip on this a minute. One, two, three. There we go, that's better. I can see what it's filming now. That's the first camera there. He's catching a trail, which runs along here amongst these trees. So uh, we'll see what we catch on that one. And now we're going to head up and uh, put the next camera way over that way. We won't be putting them near each other because obviously if nothing comes past, it'll mean neither camera will get anything. So anyway, that one's in position. Let's move on to our next location and set up the next camera. Okay, there's the second camera. It's set up. Um, it's got a view past Ryan. He moves out the way. Across here, there's a lot of trails around here. Probably a lot of sheep, but we'll see what we get. However, we have formatted the card on this camera and it has come up with a card error a few times. So um, I don't know if we're gonna get anything out of this camera. It's, it says no card error at the moment. We'll have to see what happens. In the meantime, we've got a visitor just in the tree over there watching us, which is another, which is a sheep. I'm going to say we're more interested in getting deer and wildlife rather than cattle, sheep. So we'll see what we end up with. We've just had a quick snack. We're going to head back to the van in a moment. And we'll be back out here on the Saturday. And we've marked the position of this camera using the E-Trax 10. So we can read, find its location. Anyway, we're going to start heading back now. It's just gone up for one o'clock. We're back at the van. Been here a while now. We're drying out. We're soaked. Our trousers were soaked. Top half was all right. The waterproof jackets get us warm, um, warm. Well, warm and dry. Um, but socks are uh, soaked through trousers were soaked through they're just drying off now the weather's still bad out there um so uh just having a couple of snacks drying out and we'll go back come back in a few days time collect those cameras just hoping that that second camera is going to record anything we're going to record something after the uh problems with the card error on it so we'll just have to see what happens. Oh, I think I can hear a horse out there somewhere. Just heard a horse, I can't see it though. But now we've uh, got the heater going. I'm just trying, trying to dry my socks off here. I feel like they are dry. My trousers are just about, just about dried off. Um, so, just finish off our snacks and then we'll be moving on in a minute. Well, good morning everybody, welcome back. We're back up on the Quantox, it's now Saturday the, I think it's the 17th, yep, 17th of February 2024. Saturday morning, just going half past nine, we're going to go up and collect the two trail cams we put up a few days ago. So we're just sorting out all the uh, equipment that we got. Get that split line, there we go. So the bags are packed. Boys are all here. We have Jaden and Josh and Ryan. So uh let's get the door open and let's get out of here. Okay, he gives a bit of an imp on this board here, and we're parked there. So we're going to head along there, 
across and carry on up that way. So uh, there's the A39. There's the camper van. And we're just going to head off over that way. So let's go. And we're at, presently, we're at Woodland Hill. Well, there's the uh, fence, and you can see the trail coming down here. That's deer, and they go straight across the road and straight over that way. And it's all along here they've been doing that. Another one here. So, uh, Come past here at night, a good chance you could end up hitting a deer. We're not far away from Holford here. just over there and we start now heading up into the woods there's been a lot of rain this week so we can expect muddy trails and the forecast for the day sunny cloudy and showers but it's not cold. Just about right, actually. So here we go. Start heading up onto the moors. Right, trails are muddy. Moving further away from the uh, road now. Okay, the e tracks I think this is the e tracks H, isn't it, you said? Anyway, whatever e tracks it is, it's 1.38 mile to the first um, camera. So we've got to head on up this way. So we just got this little pond. There is frog spawn in it. If I get this camera right, hang on a minute, if I get this camera set right. There we go. So there is frog spawn in it. Oh, there's a frog there just now. Anyway, we gotta head up the trail that way, I believe. So that's the direction we're gonna go. Okay, water stop. Ryan's having a swig of water. Anyone else wants any, help yourselves. And it looks like let's leave the woodland and head up onto the moors in the next few steps. Well, we're up on the uh, 
on the morning now. There's a hill over there behind me. The cameras are back over the other side of that. So we're gonna head around in a big circle around that way to get to them. breezy up here. Right, there's a car in behind me. However, we're supposed to be on the hill me. We're supposed to come up the trail over there, we've got the wrong trail, which means, if I turn this camera around, we've got to head down there and then come up around over that way. We're supposed to be over there. Okay, that's going to move on. That's the way we've got to go. Okay, that in front is Dolesborough Hill Fort. Down in there is Holford Coombe. And over to the right is Higher Hare Nap. That's where we're supposed to be heading for. Um, the other camera is over that way. It looks like we've got low cloud. So we're going to head along here and then the trail's going to take us off to the right. Okay, so we're making our way along this trail along the side of the, uh, the coombe. And am I? No, we're down to your right. It takes you down to Holford Coombe. We're just getting along the side here. Plan is to cook lunch up on the hills here somewhere. Okay, we've gone off the trail to get back on the trail. So we're heading downwards here. So we're just trying to take it steady as we go. And see the trail we want ahead of us. Once we get on that, it should be really pretty, pretty easy to get back to where we're supposed to be going. back when we get to the back on the main path right we're back on the trail we're now heading down towards Holford Coombe from there we then head on to Frog Coombe and actually take it up to the first camera so the trip in was a bit of a detour never mind we're back on course time now is about 10 to 11 
Right, we're back on the trail. We're now heading down towards Holford Coombe. From there, we then head on to Frog Coombe and actually take it up to the first camera. So the trip in was a bit of a detour. Never mind, we're back on course. Time now is about 10 to 11. Okay, we've just come from down that trail. That way is Lady's Edge. Lady's Coombe, rather. Boys are just heading down this way. This is taking us into Holford Coombe. Up at the junction here. And uh, we'll be heading up Frog's Coombe. Or Frog Coombe. Which will take us up to the location of the or towards the location of the first camera. And we will have a stream crossing just down here. A stream crossing. Now, so with all the rain we've had, um, the streams are going to be a little bit deeper than what we're normally used to. But it should be the only stream crossing that we're uh, going to have. Not that way. That way. Okay, who's going across first? More likely to fall off a log bridge than you are if you just walk through it. But go on, whichever way you want to go. They're picking their uh, route across this stream. Well, I was supposed to put the waterproof stuff on my shoes. I didn't. I'm just going to go for it. So, uh, I went straight through it. They're going for the log bridge. Oh, Jaden made it across the bridge. That's quite easy. Go across the log bridge. Yeah, easier. Oh dear, we've had our first casualty. Lost his shoe, come off in the mud. Steady as you go, Rye. Yeah. that way. Careful. It's easier just to walk through it over there, it's not that deep. Let's take it nice and easy. Okay, let's head up there. We're at Holford Coombe at the moment, just confirming that. So the plan now is to head up Frog Coombe. I'm just going to confirm that's going to take us where we want to go. The problem is, where we want to go is right on the fold of the map, which never helps matters. God, this is why you should always use a map case. Now you can see where we are. 
Right, we're right there. Frog Coon would take us up there. The first camera is about there. We want to head up Frog Coon. Okay, that's the direction we're going to go. We head up Frog Coombe, and then after, along the coombe, we should be able to um, head off direct to the camera. So we won't follow the Frog Coombe all the way along the path. We head off after a certain amount. I should keep this in my pocket. Right, now we know where we're going, we can uh, head that way. Does anyone want, yeah. anyone all right for a sit down a minute? A snack? I'll see what we got, hang on. Well, I thought we only had one stream crossing, looks like we've got another one. Okay guys. I think we've got another one further up. Okay, keep on moving. I just want to do a map check here a minute. Right, Frog Coon carries on up that way. I've just spotted a path there. I'm wondering if that path is going to take us to our camera quicker than going that way. So I'm just going to check on the map. Okay, that's the path we were going to take. We're now going to take this one. I think it's going to get us to our camera a little bit quicker. come from down there. We were all the way up there just now. Anyway, we're going to follow this. It should take us to where we want to go. I hope. Okay. Whew. We're still heading up along Frog Coombe. The new path that we took turned out to be a wise decision because the other path is heading off over that way and we want to go over that way. But it is a just a long uphill slug or slog? Slog, not slug. Slog. Um and we'll be heading back up onto the, the moors in a minute. I think we're about 200 yards away as the crow flies from camera number one. Right, I'll keep that hit, I'll bring you back in a minute. <coughs> okay, we're just coming up onto the top of the moors now. We believe the cameras are in these trees here. And if we follow a little path down here, it'll loop around to those trees. How far away are we? 53 yards. That would make sense for those trees. So we're just gonna follow this little trail here, which will hopefully zip round towards those trees and we can pick up the first camera. So now just going half past 11.
keep my eye out, see if I can spot the camera. I see the camera, it's on the tree. That's where they are, the camera's still there, which is good. So we're just heading up towards it and we will uh, find out if we got anything. Obviously, obviously we haven't had a quick look on the screen on the camera. Oh, it looks like there's a hunt heading this way. Stag hunt, fox hunt, whatever it is they do these days. I'll bring you back round. Well, I think they're going to head this way anyway. Anyway, camera is right in front of me. If it's working, it's picking me up. So hello to the camera. So there's the first camera. Right, so I stood right next to the camera, just to show that the E-Tracks did work. How far away are we? Four yards. Four yards, uh, there it is right there. So it has brought us to it. So we're gonna switch over to the E-Tracks 10 to get the other camera in a moment. But let's just check this one out a minute. Let's see if it's still working and let's see if it's picked anything up. All right, let's see what we got. Well, not a lot. Two lots of stuff. Oh, we have a deer though. Do you want to see? Oh, yeah, sure. There he is there, look. See the deer? No, I can't. Is that there, look? Oh, yeah. Let's just play it. Oh, yeah, that's not playing it. So there it goes. So that's one. And the other one is us coming up, setting it up. So we've had one one hit on this camera, so not better than none. Better than nothing. So we'll just take this camera down and we're uh head on to the next one. Oh, right, don't, don't, don't take any notice of it. Oh, looks like we've got the hunt coming past us at the moment. Right, that's that one. You want to hold on to that a minute? Let's have that. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to put that in the bag and then we're going to move on. Okay, we're on our way to the second camera now. Uh, the second camera is the one we had problems with the SD card in it. Let's hope it's worked. Um, how many? Uh, what's the distance from it now? Um, 528 meters. 528 meters. So we should be taking a left turn just up ahead of us. Once we find that camera, check it. We will then head on a short distance from that camera and set up for lunch. So we're looking for a left turn on the path on the main, one of the main paths on the top. We're heading towards higher hair nap. We're about to veer off to the left. So I think it's right about here, I think. Yeah, I think it's left here. There you go. So uh I turn around. 
him. <laughs> Behind me. Right, I'll bring you back in a mouth. Okay, we're at the top of a higher hair nap. There's the car behind me. Well, I don't got it on the camera or not. Anyway, it's windy as anything up here. We're just going to head down over that way, down towards our camera. So I'll bring you back in a minute when we get off of this. It is blowing a hooli up here right now. There's the other trail cam. It looks like the ivy I put in front of it has blown around in the way. Out, I see if it's picked anything up. This one hasn't even come on. I think we've got a failure on this one. I'm about to find out. Card error. Card error. Well, that's a shame. I had a feeling we was going to get that. Card's in there. Card error. I'll put it in the computer when we get home, just in case there's on it, but looks like that one was a foul. Right, let's turn him off. And uh, we're just going to go and find an area set up and have some lunch. So I'll bring you back once we've uh, sorted that out. Okay. I'll just get this set right. Sausages are on. Got a very basic rudimentary shelter up. I don't know if it's doing a lot. But, um, Breezy. And not too far away is the hunt. I can just hear them just now. Hopefully they won't come straight through our setup here. Anyway, sausages are cooking. So let's get them sorted. Okay. Just gonna try and zoom in on the camera. But right there is a load of deer. Um, there they go. <laughs> and uh, right down there. I can get this camera going on it, hang on. We're cooking now. There's our lunch. The deer are headed up that way somewhere. So, uh, anyway, we're just going to have our lunch. Okay, so we've just cleared down the shelter, packed away all our gear. We've got to get the backpacks up on our back and start making our way back to the van, um, which is in the direct, I can see it, that direction in front of me. Still trying to get used to this camera at the moment. So, we just go up there a bit, head down the other side. That's the plan, so I'll get these backpacks on and we're gonna move on. Well, the uh, low cloud or rain is coming in. We're not heading into that. We're heading off to the left. Yeah, you can see it coming across over there. Right, probably we've got to get up high before we can get down low. So we've got to get towards 
a, a nap and then get over to hole for the coup on the other side. Let's hope we can. Uh, no, it looks like it's getting closer. Right, I'm going to either move on, I'll bring you back in a minute. Well, we're back at the top of Higher Hair Nap. And the weather is now closing in around us. So we're now into, uh, well, basically, low cloud. Which up here is fog. Anyway, we're going down to the path down here. We hook a left. Whew. Let's have a look to see what the time is. Just about two o'clock. Right. I'll bring you back in a minute. Right, here's our crossroad. We take the path to the right down there. That will take us down to Holford Coombe. So, uh, there we go. Once we get down there, I'll just reevaluate what route we're going to check. We've got a couple of options. So, uh, but sorry, once we get down the bottom there. So I'll uh, carry on down here and I'll see you at the bottom. Okay, another stream crossing. We're still heading down towards Holford Coombe, not at the bottom yet. I think we're nearly there. I say, once we get to the bottom, we'll reassess our uh, options for which direction, which path, well, which path. We know what direction we want to go. Just which path to take to get there. Okay, well this is Holford Coombe, we're going to get across this stream and then on the other side we'll decide which path we're going to take. It's a bit, uh, a bit deep, a bit too wide. Jump across. Over there looks a little, a little, might be a little bit better.
So we're now on Holford in Holford Coombe. Boys are trying to work out how to get across over there. Have well, we got two choices yet? That path there, or that path to the right. So we're just going to consult the map and then decide. Okay, well we took the path to the left. The other path is down there. Just looking at that pond over there, which I think was where the water was collected to go to the hotel, which is further down that way. It's got a water wheel on it, which is no longer in any use. Anyway, we're following this path to the right, which does take us uphill, but is the shorter of the two paths. And this uh, camera, oh, I know, I turned it almost down to 19%. Well, I've got a spare camera in the backpack. We are getting close to the van now anyway. Well, we're back at the pond. Now we came up the trail, let me get this car around. We just came, come from over there. And initially we came from down there and carried straight on across. So what we're going to do, I believe that this path in front of me will take us directly to the van. And the time right now is about 20 to 3. Well, the van's just coming into sight. So we're nearly back there. Any footage that we got on the trail cams will be put on at the end of this film. That should be soon. So, uh, with the van now in sight, I think it's a good time to end this film. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one and uh, here's the footage from the trail cams.